Receiving calls. Today I'll show you how to answer a call and look for notifications. Why do we need to know how to do this? Because sometimes it's more beneficial to be able to make a call versus sending an email or a chat. It's important to be able to ask someone a question over the phone or answer a question of a customer. And I'll show you again how to do this by how do you answer a call and what notification should I look for when receiving a call. In order to be able to receive a call, I want to make sure my status shows me as available. So I'm just double checking, yep, it does say available at the top. Where that call is going to be coming in is in my queue. We'll be looking at the state column. It's going to show that it's alerting, and then I have the opportunity to pick it up. On our screen, we're going to go ahead and look down at the bottom right-hand corner. There will be a toast pop where we're able to pick up the call if we wanted to pick it up from the toast pop, or instead we could go over the left-hand side of our screen and choose pick up. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. You'll notice on my screen that the call has come through. It's in my queue. It has the state column showing that it's alerting. Down at the bottom right-hand corner of my new interaction shows the number, whether I can pick it up, send the call to a voicemail, or place the call on hold. But you'll notice that it disappeared quite quickly. And I want to show you also where you can change that so you can allow, allow yourself to be able to see that pop up for a longer amount of time. Let me go ahead and simulate one more call so we can see what that looks like, how we can pick it up, and then I'll add that second layer in. Where can we add the timing of how long we're going to see that pop up? We'll see that again, our call is coming through. I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click pick up. Automatically, as soon as I click pick up, you can see the call as is the state of connected. So I'm on the call with a number that called in. That is one way we're, that we're able to answer an incoming interaction. So that again is a toast pop over in the bottom right hand corner. The other way we could have answered the incoming interaction by choosing the pick up button. Let me go ahead and simulate that for you as well. Again, you'll see a call coming through. It's showing it's it alerting. We see the toast pop on the bottom right hand corner. But this time instead, I'm going to go ahead and choose pick up. It allows me to pick up the call automatically showing that the call is connected. So again, very easy, two simple ways to be able to receive a call. I mentioned that you could change the amount of time that you see the toast pop in the bottom right hand corner. By going up top to options, you can go to configuration and from underneath alerting on the left hand side, go to desktop alerts. You can display the desktop alerts for the alerting interactions by changing how long or how short you want those interactions to, dis to display on your screen. So here it's set to 20 seconds. If I want to change that and increase it to 45 seconds, I can do so by sliding the bar. Also, you can click on alerting at the top on your left hand side. You can determine the general type of alerting when you're receiving an interaction. You could have it ring the telephone for calls or ring the computer. So again, it's up to you on how you want to be alerted. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And again, simple and easy to be able to pick up, pick up an incoming call. You receive that call coming in. It shows as alerting. Again, you could click on the toast pop down at the bottom right hand corner, or you could just click pick up by clicking on the green check mark. And automatically, again, you're connected. This has been another just-in-time short video on receiving calls in the Interaction Desktop.